Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about dialysis and traveling. In our last episode, we had talked about how you can travel with ease on dialysis and what you should do to accomplish that. Today, in our holiday uh, season, we are going to talk about what other precautions you should be taking while traveling on dialysis. Um, of course, when you are on dialysis, you are on multiple food related restrictions. So the first and foremost things are you need to plan ahead of time about your food intake. You should make sure that whatever it is that your dietitian and your kidney doctor have told you to do, um, you have those food items available on your vacation or the place that you will be staying on your holidays. If that might not be a possibility for you to obtain that, then prepackaged lunches and frozen meal prep is of um, a lot of help. Number two, fluid restriction. As you all know, patients on dialysis are on strict fluid restrictions. This is just a reminder that on ho during holiday season, all of your liquids such as eggnogs, juices, apple ciders, um, anything else also counts towards your fluid restriction. When we say drink 1.5 liters of fluids in 24 hours, that means any and everything that is liquid is included in that 1.5 liters um, restriction, which means if you eat ice, it obviously gets converted into water. So the amount of ice that you eat will count towards your 1.5 liters of allocated or allotted fluid for that day. Also, if you are drinking coffee, juice, um, if you are uh, drinking some alcohol for the holidays, all of that counts towards your fluid restriction count. So be aware of it. Number three, be aware of salt. People on dialysis, not all of them, but most of them are on some kind of salt or sodium restriction. And nowadays, all of our foods have hidden salt or hidden sodium in it. So I definitely encourage you all to look at the labels and make decisions wisely. Number four, very important for dialysis patients are phosphorus binders. Not all, but most of dialysis patients have to take um, these pills called phosphorus binders or phos binders along with their meals. This is to protect excess phosphorus from getting absorbed in your gut. Excess of phosphorus is not good for dialysis patients and hence we try to avoid getting excess of it through our food. The major source of diet, the major source of phosphorus for us is through our diets. So again, read the labels and make sure that you pack enough amount of phosphorus binders on your trips during the holidays. Number five, make sure that you take your high blood pressure or low blood pressure medications, whatever you might have, and keep them with you during your travels. Number six, make sure that all of your medications, um, all of your supplements and medications are on you, with you on your checked luggage box um, on the airplanes if that's how you are going to travel. Uh, please do not put your medications in checked in luggages where um, the luggage may be delayed or lost, especially during holiday season. Next, um, number seven, I think that's number seven. Make sure that you have your diabetic medications, your insulin and everything else ready to go while you travel. Number eight, make sure that you arrive at the airport well in advance if you have to check in your dialysis machine, your peritoneal dialysis machine or supplies and also if you have to check in your other machines such as sleep apnea machine um, etc. So allow extra time for your check-ins and security checks at the airports especially during this busy season. I hope that these pointers help you have a good 
holiday season and a great travel on dialysis. Take care.